Matt Bright, broadcasting out the UK, and I really need to tell you about this piece of information. Just in case you don't see me on the channel anymore, you're going to know that it's not because I've jumped ship, but because YouTube um, have decided that if your channel is not making money for them, then they're going to ban you and stop your access. So it's going to affect a lot of channels um, that um, deal with news stuff and anything that the mainstream um, advertisers um, won't want to put their advertising on. They want to see more um, channels about makeup, more channels about fun things, more channels about, you know, building stuff and, you know, how to do things, but less of the controversial topics, politics, news, that kind of stuff. Well, how they're going to determine that is they're going to do that by demonetization. So if you've had a lot of demonetized, demonetized videos, you can more or less guarantee that your channel might be one of those that is going to be pulled. Um, ah. Well, you know, I was watching the video today and I'll put the link below. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame because it's a sneaky way of controlling what people talk about. You know, ordinarily we're supposed to have freedom of expression. We're supposed to be able to talk about things that seem unfair, um, that are provocative, that are controversial. And what they're saying is that they don't really want to they, advertisers don't want to see that. So really what the advertisers want to support is, like they said, gaming program, gaming videos. They want to see that. Gaming videos, like I said, you know, makeup videos and stuff like that. They're happy to advertise on those channels. So I think in, well, this takes effect on the 10th of December. Today is what, the 6th? So as of next week, this is what's going to happen. So, um, like I said, if you're one of those channels that has a lot of those yellow signs that says you're demonetized, I've got quite a few of them, um, then the channel could be pulled. So I'm just kind of giving you a warning, just in case I disappear and you're going to say, hey, what's happened to Black Bright? She's jumped ship. No, I haven't jumped ship. They pulled, they pulled the plug on me and they'll probably be pulling the plug on a lot of people. Anyway, I wrote down a few notes that I'm going to just um, talk to you quickly so you get a rough idea about what's going on. As of 10th of December, your channel could be removed. Um, access revoked at the sole discretion of YouTube, which is owned by Google. A new terms of service was sent out by YouTube a couple of days ago. Um, which said YouTube may terminate your access or Google accounts access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that the provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. Mine. <laughs> Mine definitely ain't. Um, ben Swan, who's a journalist, said commercially, commercially viable means you need to be making them money. Um... So like I said, some of us, we get a little yellow sign that means you're demonetized. If you've got a green sign, a little green dollar sign, it means you're monetized. And then it doesn't even matter how many um, subscribers you have in that case. If you've got millions of subscribers, but you're, you've got that demonetized sign on your, on your system, it still means you're going to be pulled. Um, YouTube has been on a mission of demonetizing channels. Content is not suitable for advertisers, uh, not suitable for mainstream advertisers. It's clamping down on free speech, like I said. Um, it's not changing access to the rules. Clamps down on free speech. Anyway, YouTube is changing the expectation you can create a channel. Hence, since Google... Since Google has bought it, they significantly restrict channels, but also have terms of service that content creators can create anything. So it's geared for large channels with a lot of subscribers that they'll be OK, providing they're, they're um, talking about gaming, makeup tutorials, recipes, things like that. Um, they don't like newsworthy stuff and anything that challenges the status quo. They're not interested in that anymore. Um, so um, I did say a few months ago that they would be pulling the rug. I didn't know quite know how they were doing it, but I knew that people on YouTube couldn't get 
too complacent. Too many people on here making money. Well, if they're making money, that's fine, because they're making money for YouTube. So, yeah, that should be fine, actually. But um, I'm not quite sure. If they've been making money, but they are controversial, I'm not quite sure how that works. Maybe they're not making them enough money. So maybe you've got subscribers who have got lots of subscribers, but they're not making money for YouTube. I don't know what they're on about. Anyway, um, because like me, some creators don't want to make money. I mean, it's nice to get some money, but you don't do it for the money. And there's a lot of people out there who don't do it for the money. They just do it to put out information to help people. But people like me, I'm no good to YouTube, basically. That's what they're saying. Um, so first demonetize information that we don't like and then you are not commercially viable so it doesn't look like they are politically biased um the, i was just writing some notes down here as i was listening to this video but they're actually silencing you it's no different from china really because if you're not allowed to say what you want to say what is the difference um, China censors you. This is another way of censor censoring you. They're censoring you by demonetizing you. And by demonetizing you, they're going to pull the plug on you. So there's no difference there. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to change my direction. I don't think I will. I think um, I might do some more of those um, videos that are more to do with um, not necessarily self development, but you know. Um, issues to do with life then if I think there's something important but then I don't know if I can get passionate about that so I don't even know what's going to happen I'm just going to play it by ear until and see what happens okay TikTok apparently is the next big thing it's got 1.5 billion users but if you've that's only if you've got 15 seconds it's you're supposed to make an impact in 15 seconds remember with Twitter when it first came out, you could only use about, I think, 100 characters. They've expanded it now. But it's a similar thing to that, only that this is um, videos. But you do something catchy within 15 seconds. I'm not quite sure what you can do in 15 seconds. You'd have to be ingenious. But it's really kicked off. And I think it's really kicked off with the young because the young have a small attention span or short attention span for the most part when it comes to entertainment. So they love it. And they can do all their little stupidness in, well, not necessarily stupidness, but they can do their little bit of creativity in, um, in 15 seconds. Um, so it's the number one social media app on all platforms, apparently all platforms, more than YouTube, more than Facebook, more than Instagram. It has 20,000 staff with offices in USA, Europe, Brazil, China and India. It's a short form video sharing app. Um, it's not just about lip syncing and it's not just about music performance. You can literally do anything on it within 15 seconds that you want to make an impact. Uh, in two years, it's rivaled Netflix, YouTube and Facebook. So, I mean, it's not an alternative to YouTube because, you know, for people like me, I, there's no way I could say anything in 15 seconds. What would I say? Hello, I'm black, right? So, no, that, that can't really work for the majority of us. So it's not an alternative. But I thought I would put it out there that it is privately owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance. It's worth $75 billion. US dollars. Uh, it's a Chinese version of Facebook and it's coming out with a new phone, a smartphone called the Smartisan Nut Pot 3 and it has all the flagship specs. I don't know, it's bought the French and Lo Los Angeles news company so they're supposed to be doing something about news on it. Not quite sure how, so maybe they'll expand its time over a period of time makes money through ads and emojis and stuff like that. Um, India banned the app for a short while, saying it was causing cultural degradation for the young people, but then it was overturned, so it's still running rampant. Um, not quite sure how meaningful the app is. It's probably good for a laugh. It all depends what you can, how powerful you can be in 15 seconds. To be honest, it might be a good thing. It might be something that you could actually um, be quite ingenious with. You never know. I'm just putting it out there. 
Uh, Lauren Gray is the largest TikTok star. She's got 33.7 million followers. So there is this big thing about what it does about personal information, national security, you know, um, Zuckerman, is it Zuckerman, yeah, he's, you know, Facebook guy. He's making a big deal about it, saying he doesn't know what they're doing with the information. But do we know what they're doing with any of our information? YouTube, WhatsApp, whatever it is, we don't know. Does, do we really care after all of this? I don't think so. Not really. Because it's all out of our control. So anyway, just thought I'd share that bit of news with you. So you YouTubers, if you're not um, towing the line, you could get pulled. That's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.